Horse stances are great, but they're tough. Most people can barely hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds before their legs turn to jelly. I'm speaking from experience here. I'll explain more in a second. First, let's start with these questions. What is the horse stance and is it another fitness fad? The horse stance, known as mabu in Chinese martial arts, is a fundamental lower body position that mimics the stance of riding a horse. Place your feet wider than shoulder width apart, knees bent and pointed outward, with the torso upright and stable. Now, get down into a squat. Hold this position and see how fast your legs start trembling. This stance is actually not a fitness fad. In fact, it's central to various martial arts disciplines for its role in building leg strength, endurance, and stability, while also serving as a foundational posture for practicing techniques and improving balance. That brings us to the next section, Horse Stance Benefits. 1. Horse Stance Improves Resistance The horse stance functions as an isometric hold, where muscles contract without visible movement, creating sustained resistance. In this static position, your legs, core, and glutes continuously engage to maintain the posture. This constant tension builds muscular endurance by forcing your muscles to resist fatigue over time. Just like I said in the intro, you probably won't be able to hold the horse stance for very long at first, especially if you're a beginner. Get your timer and start with 3 sets of 30 seconds, but work your way up to 3 sets of 2 minutes to reap the full benefits. And be ready! Your legs will shake like jelly. That said, here's another question. Does the horse stance improve strength or not? 2. Yes, horse stance improves lower body strength. But it won't build new muscle by itself. Trigger warning, this is where I get geeky. Here's the thing. The horse stance is basically an isometric sumo squat hold. Therefore, both the horse stance and the sumo squat target similar muscle groups, including the quads, glutes, hamstrings, and inner thighs. However, they do so differently because one is static and the other is not. In the horse stance, the muscles are engaged in an isometric contraction, meaning they maintain tension without changing length. Pause this video and press your hands together as hard as you can without moving them, your muscles are working, but there's no movement. That's isometrics. Now back to the horse stance. This type of hold builds endurance and strength in a fixed position, making the muscles better at maintaining a specific posture or stance for extended periods. On the other hand, the sumo squat involves isotonic contractions, where the muscles change length. This is like lifting a weight up and down, your muscles shorten and then lengthen. The sumo squat, with its wider stance resembling that of a sumo wrestler, not only strengthens the same muscle groups but also goes through a range of motion, promoting muscle growth and improving joint flexibility. So, while both exercises work out similar areas, the horse stance focuses on muscle endurance and strength through holding a position, and the sumo squat emphasizes muscle building and flexibility by moving through a range of motion. 3. The horse stance builds mobility and hip flexibility. If you have tight hips, can't touch your feet, or hold an astagrass squat, practicing the horse stance will help. The horse stance builds mobility and hip flexibility because its unique position stretches and strengthens the muscles around your hips. Holding this position opens up and engages your hips, so the muscles and tendons in this hip area elongate under tension. Over time, this translates into flexibility and range of motion gains. With the risk of geeking out again, it's important to note that your hip muscles stretch under tension instead of contracting under tension. This dynamic between stretching and strengthening is key to improving overall hip flexibility and mobility. 4. The horse stance builds mental focus. Practicing the horse stance hones your mental focus because this move is hard. Holding this position requires physical endurance and a significant amount of concentration. As you maintain the stance, you'll need to stay mentally engaged to keep your form correct and your body stable. This continuous focus on your posture and breathing develops your ability to concentrate and remain present. Over time, this practice can enhance your mental resilience. And this helps you maintain focus and composure, not just in your training, but in everyday situations, like dealing with a nasty client or helping a kid that tantrums. 5. The horse stance improves your balance and has postural benefits. Practicing the horse stance regularly can significantly improve your balance and contribute to better posture. As you adopt this wide-legged, grounded position, your body must distribute its weight evenly between both legs, 
engaging the core muscles to maintain stability. This requirement to stay centered and upright without swaying forward, backward, or to the sides trains your proprioception, which is your body's sense of its own position in space. In the long run, this enhanced sense of balance and body awareness translates into improved posture. The engagement of your core muscles while in the horse stance helps to support your spine, encouraging alignment and reducing the tendency to slouch. Besides, the strength built in the legs and lower back further supports proper posture, whether you're sitting, standing, or moving. That said, the horse stance is not perfect, so let's review its drawbacks. 1. The horse stance isn't great for increasing your muscle mass. Can you remember how I started the second advantage on lower body strength? I said, quote, Yes, the horse stance improves lower body strength, but it won't build new muscle by itself. So that's an important drawback. The horse stance can strengthen your posterior chain, but it doesn't increase your muscle mass and size. The good thing is the horse stance will improve your strength enough to help you perform other lower body exercises better. Think squats, lunges, and deadlifts. All these are muscle building exercises if you're lifting weights that challenge you. Basically, the horse stance will help you build muscle mass by strengthening your posterior chain. 2. Some people hold a too wide stance, straining their knees and ankles. A very wide stance can lead to improper alignment, placing undue stress on these joints. Your knees might tend to buckle inwards or push too far out, disrupting the natural line from your hips to your feet, which can strain ligaments and tendons. Similarly, your ankles might bear weight unevenly, leading to discomfort or imbalance. So find a stance width that allows your knees to remain directly over your feet. Paying attention to your body's signals and adjusting your stance width to a comfortable, sustainable position can prevent these strains. 3. You don't work out your lateral mobility. The horse stance improves hip mobility, but it doesn't inherently work out your lateral mobility. That's because you're holding a static position with minimal side-to-side -side movement, which can lead to a lack of training in the muscles and joints responsible for lateral or side-to-side -side movements. This could result in reduced agility and flexibility in those directions. To counterbalance this, incorporate exercises into your routine that specifically target lateral mobility, such as side lunges or lateral band walks. This will ensure a well-rounded fitness regimen that teaches your body to move efficiently in all directions, not just forward and back. So, that's about it on the horse stance. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know if you tried this exercise and felt any improvements. Don't forget to share how long you can hold the horse stance in the comments below and what your goal hold is. Side note, check the first comment for my current best time.